Hi folks, uh, it's another Friday in the land and uh, you better believe it. Uh, Ramadan Kareem to all our Muslim uh, faithful. I say welcome. Okay, uh, today in the program, let's, let's uh, tell you President, President Buhari, Buhari, Vice President Oshibajo and Security Chiefs meet as the federal government look beyond the military in the war against insecurity and later on Senate summons finance minister army chief over 199 billion naira anti-terror war fund false president Buhari's call on US for help instead of the ECOWAS and the EU I'm hanging out with Sam Ibimel gentlemen Sam Sam I greet you glad to be here good uh, Sam, Sam is the proud son of Imo State. <laughs> yes, State I am. Of, uh, no, no, citizen. Let's, go, let's not go. Let's not go there. Oh, no, I won't go there. <laughs> and also, we have Cyril Abaku. Cyril, by definition, is the senior research uh, um, research gentleman at TBC. I agree with you. The, the job no is no, it's, no, it's not. researching and researching and researching. <laughs> it's, it's Especially not. these days where libraries don't do anymore. Mm. You, know, but you know, but unfortunately we live in times that make us to remember the dark parts of history. Okay. Which, which is really sad. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the trouble with history is many people who read history don't learn from history. Mm. All, right. All right, the team is ready. I hope you are. Information is power. Information is security. Information is knowledge. On Label Lens, we believe that working people around the world have real questions of their own. They want to know how the world of work operates, what it means to the employer of labor, how policies affect workers in the workplace. On Label Lens, I ensure we engage effectively the organized labor, organized private sector, and government to get out of them information workers are in need of. I am Sharon Jackson, asking questions that make you get sense of the workplace. Sharon, Sharon is, is one of, of, the, of pretty the pretty girls we have here, yeah. and tomorrow is. Uh, May, May Day, Day. Even, though even though the holiday is declared, declared for Monday, for Monday uh, so May, so May Day to Nigerian, Nigerian workers. Mm -hmm. You know, you know desperate, desperate times, times we are told call for, call for desperate, desperate measures. <laughs> if this be so, we are to act as desperately as we wish. Um, these are more than desperate days. And so President Muhammadu Buhari, his deputy professor Yemi Shibajo, and all militants with the director of military intelligence are locked in a closed door meeting on account of the worsening security situation in the country. In the meantime, the European Union has counseled Nigeria about looking beyond a military solution to our war on terror and other crises bedeviling our country. Head of EU delegation to Nigeria and ECOWAS, Arub Katil Karisin, I hope I got that right, says, while a military option should never be foreclosed, other options, including a dialogue, should be exploited. Mm. I quite agree Siri. with you. Yes, I quite agree with you. And um, quite frankly, as at the time I you know, was reading that particular piece of news, I said to myself, glory be to God, none of this is new anyway. Mm. But the fact is that um, the factors that necessitate or justify desperation do not foreclose strategy do not foreclose critical thinking. Do not foreclose sitting down to reflect on what, how you got to that place, that, you know, that, that particular desperate. Uh, the, the, the Which is man-made, as we always say. Now, yes. Now, the fact is that, you see, without prejudice to the essential function of Mr. President to look for solutions to these problems and for him to convene these meetings, Citizen Jones, we have to be very careful with the, you know, about the times we find ourselves in. Meetings like this, when, when news breaks and they say the president is holding an emergency, we've had these meetings several times. Oh, yeah. The same things come out. He gives his, the service chiefs marching orders 
Oilers. But the fact is that the very constitution of the body that is meeting now is part of what Nigerians have said is a problem. So it is interesting, so no? service chiefs have been changed. No, that is not the point. The point is that for a country that should thrive on federal character and geopolitical balancing, the very nature of the constitution of this body is part of what Nigerians have said is not boding well for the peace and security of this nation. This is not a matter of, I mean, it, it's, it's so not... It's debatable. Every, every, it's every, debatable. Everybody has go, had on, the, go on, it's debatable. Everybody has had his own fair share yeah. of what is happening. So, for instance, you're, you are referring to um, Sam as a person. Of course, he's a person of Imo State. <laughs> but I don't think he is part of where he state is today. Absolutely. You know, so these are the issues. We need better representation. We, what is happening in Nigeria today is not just, in, in, you see, insecurity is a symptom. What we have today is a stringent and solid contestation of national legitimacy, of the right of a state to assert itself. This is, this is a challenge to the viability of state policy. It, it, does Nigeria have what it takes to be what she says she is? This, in, you know, in that, 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 that's what's going on. And that's why you find that even when you hear people preferring solutions, mm. almost every solution that has been preferred has an equal or opposite cost-benefit advantage, uh, uh, cost-benefit ratio. So the fact is that if we need a solution to the crisis, what I will even expect the president to do is not to see that the national can be, can be convoking meetings. It was long overdue for Mr. President to have taught the country. No, no, at a time like this? Oh, certainly. Certainly, citizen Joe. It is, it, we, we need leadership that comes out to, because what is happening to the people are losing faith in what should hold them together. Otherwise, we are saying Mr. President should be in the Southeast, he should be. He in should the North talk the should be as part of strategy. That may not be. If his uh, vice president has had to go to one or two places, that's not enough. It's not enough, you know. And I think it's not enough, not, not just because VB shouldn't have the power to do that. It is, it is that we see a situation where Mr. President has to be the one leading from the front. That is what it should be. Okay. At this time. Essentially, Mr. President should be at the forefront of he should battling. Be. He more than has to be. Um, Sam, I, I have just told him it is debatable, but let's not go there. But we have Wahala in the land. And the president is beating all his service chiefs. Does it matter where a service chief comes from? Does it really matter at a time like this? Citizen, um, on the surface, you, you, could, you could argue that it doesn't really matter because um, ordinarily, any serious society should aim for excellence, should aim for merit. You know, um, in its drive towards uh, uh, leadership recruitment. But then we live in an environment where we cannot pretend that there are different entities with different sentiments that make up this country. What is the level of sense of belonging that Some, these are stakeholders? We, are, are, are we talking? So hold on. No, it's are, we, are we talking about a sense of belonging? or countering what the Wahala is in the land. It's, it's, it's now, now. <laughs> Citizen, everything counts. Because if you have a so, sense so, so no, the, uh, no, 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 the I, chief I of police, hold on, hold on, you will speak. Okay. The chief of police must be from southeast. The chief of army must be from somewhere in the north. The chief of air force must come to the south. Blah, 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 blah. At a time like this. Citizen, when Sirius spoke, he talked about, he talked about the, the undertones, all right? Mm. These things border on how stakeholders feel within the Federation. Is there a sense of justice? Is there a sense of equity? Is there a sense of fairness? Who, who's justice? Do, who's equity? No, who's it's, fairness? It's important. <laughs> Citizen, you've asked quest, this question, and I, yeah. need, I need to make my point. Now, if we all agree that we live in the Federation, Mm. where every stakeholder should have equal access or fetter, okay, to power. And you have a situation where there is a very strong perception 
that some critical stakeholders, all right, don't feel that they are being don't, regarded. Don't, don't feel a sense of being. Yes. Mm. Belonging. It, so it, 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 it matters. And then, and, and then the facts are dead, uh, uh, Stephen Jones. You, you, don't, you don't want to pretend I, that the facts I, are not no, dead. No, no, no. Let, let me give no, you examples. No, no. There's no present. I mean, Sam, just oh, a minute. Okay. I know, I agree, I'm moderating, but again, this, these are not normal times. I'm saying the, Even if the, that. hold on, hold on, if the IG of police were Igbo, yes. the chief of army um, somewhere in the north, chief of air force somewhere in, this, in, in the west, and blah, 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 yes. we will be okay. It's not as simplistic as, as, as you want to make me believe. Now, the point I want to make is this. Do we have a body of rules that govern Nigeria. If we do, is there a segment of this body of rules that says there should be some, I mean, there should be federal character? Those things, these things are critical. Mm -hmm. Now, if we agree that there should be federal character, or do you understand, mm -hmm. equal access mm -hmm. in the Constitution, mm -hmm. you want to ask yourself, is that Point. Sam, but being, I insist be, these are no, not normal no, if, if, times. No, no, these are see, not. No, but, no, no, they are not the best of times. No, so just, even just, even yeah, as it is, just, just no. a minute. Yeah. Even, even as it is, I agree with you that this is not the best of times. But if you have a situation where critical stakeholders feel that they don't enjoy a sense of belonging, all that you and do, Sam, all that you do. Sam, as we speak. Are you suggesting no, that? Oh, hold on. No, the, topic, the topic yes. at hand is, yes. as we speak, Mr. President, yes. his vice president, and the service chiefs, yes. for, plus the, the chief, chief of staff, and all people Agreed. Are, you so know, are at, holding at, a meeting. At, at the moment, yeah. at the moment yeah. there is nothing anyone can do to change the composition of the meeting that is going on. Absolutely. Now the thing why I want here. Yes. Okay. But then it's not something you want to sweep under the feet. I mean, on, 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 under the carpet. Okay. To, today. Yes. Today. Yes. Today. Yes. You are saying. You see, the EU. Part of the story is that the EU has, has told the federal government to look beyond military. Yeah. Now, for the record, I, I don't speak Hausa. But I spoke to a few house of friends and told I them. I don't speak Igbo. So, <laughs> not that I speak it, but, I, but you know, like I spoke to a few friends and I said, I'm looking for terms we can use to reverse the Boko Haram scourge. Somebody said, Boko Al Baraka, you know, Boko Dakia, and so on. Mm. And I said, okay, Operation Lafayette, though, let's say, let there be peace. It does not deal with the fundamental belief that Boko Haram is. And we have said it's that. It's a threat. Yes. So we have said that look for a term, a word, a coinage that directly counteracts the Boko Haram message. So that we know that in the end, it is either you are for the book or you are against the book. That is one. That is a way of winning the people's minds to believe in something. Because you cannot win this war by military means alone, whether it's in mm. the southeast, mm. in the northwest, mm. anywhere. During the Biafra Civil War, there was a boss that had the inscription, man must work. You know, here is a man was working. That was before about, the oh, war. We were well, well, shooting war. Good. So we are saying, no man, man, man must eat. But in America, when the journalists took it, they said man must work. That Africans mm. are so barbaric mm. that they say man must kill to survive. In, 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 you know that kind of there thing. So information matters. Again, it, and, and again, I would say that without prejudice to what is going on in that meeting, how do you interpret information from a section of your country? You have no, you have no keen understanding of their belief systems. You have no, and I'm not talking about the Southeast now. I'm talking about the generality of the Nigerian pe uh, pe peoples, in the sense that we understand that look, this country is made up of different languages, different mm -hmm. tribes, different belief systems, Nation, and that right. if we are going to look for a solution to what is going on beyond the advisory level, at the level of policy and implementation, we need people who can make direct input in understanding what is going on. The, we had somebody say that every local government should have its own um, defense committee. That you know that that rightly or wrongly. Now then, I, I one time I had somebody say that if, even if you give Nigeria state police, that it will end up being a way of returning of, of returning other tribes. I said it at the beginning that everything you do will have its cost and benefit. You know, um, yeah. but so so the point is, when we are meeting at these places, are we even satisfied? Citizen Jones, I'm from the south south. You're from the south-south, you're from the southeast. 
there is a sense in which I know that when I want to talk about northern issues, I know that I'm not from the north, so I will give certain rooms or you know uh, uh, space for what it is that may, that, that may be said by, by, by northern that should be the original northern side, uh, st side, side of things. If you have, if you have been holding these sort of meetings since 2015, and the, and things have been getting worse. No, no, no. It no, only goes no, to no, show no. Uh, that something different serial, must be done serial, to get a different serial, result. Serial, you right. cannot get hold a buy enough Nigerians to fight a war that the, the, you know they don't, they don't feel. Oh, hold on, you know. Serial, How do you do that? Cyril and Sam. Cyril, yes. let's go it this way. Boko Haram started like a child's play thing mm. in 2002. Remember that the government at the time, headed by uh, Omar then, Musayir, mm -mm, then President. Obasanjo said, one, that political sharia will fizzle out. Did it fizzle out? Number two, that Boko Haram will go out. Obviously, we remember, not no. We remember that the so-called leader of Boko Haram, as it was then, Mohammed uh, Yusuf, yeah? Yusuf, was killed, not died. Mm -hmm. There are two different thing, mm -hmm. as, uh, th things. And president at that time was involved. Here we are de dealing with a Frankenstein. There's a meeting going on. Are you saying the meeting should be called off? No, It's citizen. already on. Citizen. But the question of telling me who mm. and who should be at the meeting, does not arise no, no, here. No, that's, if, that's, if that's, 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 that's the bone of, that's not the bone of contention. Yes. No, no, that's one by the, one, one by one. No, I think I should speak on this matter yeah. at, the, at, the, at this time. The composition What for should us the is, meeting do now, now? Fine, now that's, that's, that's a bit more direct. The meeting, Ought to be very honest, very sincere, mm -hmm. very deliberate mm -hmm. about finding or seeking solutions. Including all right? what the EU has said. Yes. In fact, well, let's be fair to the EU. And I, I speak with every sense of modesty. What the EU representative has said is not different from what all of us come I'm to insane. discuss on this table mm. every day in the last several years. Yeah. Okay? So the summary of it is. Guys, you guys need to, you know, understand that you need, you, you need a comprehensive approach. You need to adopt yeah. a comprehensive approach Including to dealing with this matter. dialogue. Absolutely. Have we not been discussing... Some dialogue with who? The dialogue we're talking about, first, you need to understand that there are stakeholders. Has the government been honest enough to identify who these stakeholders are and be honest about a national conversation? around it. So when you talk about dialogue, it's not just about getting people around the table. Okay? First, we need to appreciate that Nigeria is made up of federating units. Nigeria is made up of people, different ethnic people, ethnic stocks. Okay? Now, we've also talked about injustice. That if, if you trace what is going on in Nigeria today, you cannot remove it from that feeling that the government has not been fair. Citizen, I think you need to allow me to learn. Sam, Sam you think I am, you want to show the, li the viewer that <laughs> no. I'm gagging you, and I'm not. I'm saying, no, because, because, no it is because, subject, subject yes, at hand. Yes. We have gone past that stage of who is being marginalized. I, no, no, but we've we not we gone past it. Sam, Sam, I, we've I, past I, it. Sam I'm an Ibibio from yes. Akwaibo. Yes. I feel a sense of marginalization. So you can't take that away. The, the no, cereal I, is no, from that, River State. Now we all agree. It still pleads. So, now we have Boko Haram um, uh, insurgent. Uh, Boko Haram. Uh, insurgency? No, no. The, okay. In, uh, what's the. The, the uh, bandits. Okay. Kidnappers. Yes. Running riot. Yes. And the meeting is on. Let's talk okay, about so what fine. should the meeting do. Fine. For first, me, first, what the government has done all this while is to borrow the military parlance, a kinetic approach. Let's kill all of them, OK? But the EU guys are saying, don't just kill all of them. Adopt dialogue as also a part of your strategy. And in doing that, also consider that you need to fine tune your, um, your uh, uh, justice, uh, um, justice system and yeah. make sure that people are not just taken to the slaughter without giving them an yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? To, that's what, that's what, yeah, that's what the EU is saying. So three approaches, Sam, okay? A but certain, is the, is the Sam, government. a certain Barnabas wants to talk. Okay. It's from Benway. <laughs> Let's listen to him. Good evening, sir Barnabas. 
Hello? Yeah, go on, sir. Yes. My name is Barnabas, calling from Makati, Benue City. Go on, yes. sir. I'm Barnabas, calling from Benue City. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. The issue of security in Nigeria is a very serious thing. And over time, I think the government has not really taken it seriously. Yeah, yeah, but, but Barnabas, as we sit here, as, as you call, have you, you've called in, we are here at the um, uh, Hangout. The meeting is on. What should the meeting do? That's, please, don't take us back. I know, I know, understand you. Yes. Uh, I think, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I think you are interjecting... Your interjection is not no. even a clue. Uh, come on, I'm the saying meeting. there's a meeting. Uh, okay. what, 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 what? See, there's a meeting on. What should the meeting do beyond talking and talking and talking? That's what we're saying. I'm not, in, not unnecessarily interjecting. The, 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 the meeting has, it's not the first time we're having meetings. This is not the first time. So we should ask what this meeting do. What has the meeting been doing over time? It is Okay, we lost him. So, talking about, speaking no, about the connection to him. Yeah, speaking about solution, citizen. So you talked about strategy. You could have short term, medium term, long term. Short term is this gathering of leaders. Are they looking at um, what the military can do in the very short run to contain mm -hmm. the terrorists, the, menace, the, yeah. the, the, the bandits? Probably also in the in the in the in the in the, uh, medium, in, in the medium term. Okay? okay, the long term you're talking about a national conversation. Seriously. All right, we have had some in the past, and you ask yourself, what has the government done with the reports, the outcome of those national conversations? <laughs> Sadly, we, we, we Sam, pretend we that had, they never really have had, We have had ten. One, two, three, four, five. Ten national and, and that's what and that's no, what matters. Just a minute. Yes, yeah. And, yeah. That, and that's what matters. The, and there the, have been reports. The, ten reports. What have our leaders done with this report? Now, if the current administration is not satisfied with this report, can it initiate another? Even at the risk of national, so much national money. discourse. Oh, that's what we're talking about. That's okay. what the EU guys are also recommending. Okay. All right. So can we be honest about it? If somebody oh, feels okay. that so, so when, the, when the EU, EU says, don't just go beyond military solutions yes. alone, yes. keep talking, yes. it means talk to Nigerians, not to the... The viability, no. the viability of statehood is under threat. There is no need to pretend about this. Citizen Jones, anarchy is not when everything gets loose everywhere. Anarchy is when people are... Somebody suffers injury. And there is really and, and there is and, and there's really no law to provide redress. People are attacking courts. Is mm. that burning you know they're burning mm. up courts. Mm. Mm. Burning up courts. They remove but court, uh, uh, attacking uh, military they them. Installations what, and, what, and what do you call that? The president can be everywhere at every time. The people that have been appointed if so if 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 law enforcement agents are beginning to run from their post, what do you call that? See the thing is this for the mere fact that this is the National Security Council that is meeting, we owe them a certain level of um, um, is it honor or uh, just just to you yes. know for for, for 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 what they are but let me even say this if you know when Obanga left office somebody asked him why didn't you convoke a national conference as was being canvassed under your regime he said he was afraid because Somalia did it things went awry some other countries did it and everything went so he he knew that at the point his government had reached if he had convoked the conference it would have marked the end of what Mm -hmm. it, it is, it is, it is, I mean, we are, we are urging that precipice if we're not oh, already. Right. You cannot convoke that sort of meeting now. Okay. So the fact is that, and, 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 and that's why I said, this thing must begin from top down. What ought to be done now is not even to gather people. It is for the president to come out and say, Nigerians, He's not even talking to us. He's not even talking no, to us. The only time okay. he speaks is when he is dragged over. It, over so please, I, 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 you know, I, I, I wouldn't be deceived to thinking that something was. Please, we, we, oh, okay. we have, we have, we have seen these things uh, over, over and over oh, again. Okay, I share, I share your disappointment, <laughs> share your sentiments, and so on. No, Mr. Please. President, not because we have said it at the hangout here, but please talk to us if you can. 
or delegate if you can. We'll take this break and come back. The issue is still hanging. All right, then we, if you just joined us, we said that desperate times would call for desperate situations and what have you. As we speak, the National uh, Security Council is meeting at the presidential chambers in Abuja. Um, you, Sam, you talked about national conference, the reports, blah, blah, blah. The last conference was under, uh, in 19, 2014, 2014 yes. under last president, yes. uh, what's his name now? Good Lord uh, Jonathan. Good Lord Jonathan. Yes. And a report came. Yes. We had 11 months. So 11 months too short a time to kickstart something? Not too short. But, okay. No, not too short. But you ask yourself, if the man under whose administration that national confab held and certain decisions were reached has stepped out of office, what did his successor do with it? Now, if he wasn't satisfied with the conduct and the outcomes of that conference, what else did he do? Uh, and, if, Sam, if you recall, uh, and Sam, if, I'm yes. not necessarily, okay. we, it's a dialogue. <laughs> and Sam, before President Jonathan, okay. there was a conference. And there was See, a report of that okay. conference. Citizen, let us even assume that we have had no, no, national, but you understand. I, no, no, no. I do. But there was Sam, a report Sam, Sam, of yes, that Sam, conference. Sam, just give me the floor, please. Okay. After the government came into office, there was a lot of clamor. This whole thing we are seeing today is only what has snowballed into what it has become. Yeah. It was there from day one. Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State was given the auspicious task of coming up with recommendations for the structuring. Where is that document today? It was not Jonathan he, talking. He, he submitted the it, report. We, so, yeah, the, the question is what what has what has the ruling party? Because they confirmed also submitted what, that report. And also, you know, you know, and, we and, go, and, and no, say, no, no, Cyril, mm. no spoil your face for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, no. but I'm saying there was a report, a conference report before then. And there's been yeah, a report yeah, after yeah, that what had we done? And there's report, report okay, after then. Citizen, let us even assume, let us conclude. You don't assume. So, there were well, reports let, before yes. the last conference. Okay, uh, let us not assume. Let us conclude that nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing was done. Was done. Beautiful. Now, are we going to leave on that no sir no fine. sir no, no i have not said now, so if your answer is no the question we're asking ourselves does nigeria in its current state deserve a conversation around the, its present challenges sam this is not a counter question but does nigeria at this particular state yes seem uh, comfortable to talk about a report of a conference or dealing with what is on the floor no, the fact is, is, is that... No, no, no. Well, it's just just a minute. Let, let it... What's it's on the floor? Lay, it's, lay, it's, lay the no, no, no. Wait problem. now. It's, it's a whole gamut of it, citizen. I'm not going to tell you that the solution to Nigeria's problem is just one solution. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. First, if you, if you want to be academic about it, you ask yourself, what have the problems been? Now, if, if you identify that, you can begin to seek solutions. Now, because Nigeria is not just about one ethnic stock, there are several. People have come to the table with different propositions. All right? Do you want to give room to a, an honest national dialogue? If you don't want to call it dialogue, you can call it conversation. Can we speak to ourselves? We mm. are not saying don't adopt what the military calls a kinetic response to our challenges. Mm. Mm. No, we're not saying that. But even as you do that, and the EU has reminded us, can we genuinely embark on a conversation? Now, if Sa the risk, Sam, the Sam, risk of Sam, not doing that. Sam, you have invited Alex from Sapele, okay. so we must take him. Alex, how are you? Welcome. Good evening. Yes, sir. I enjoyed your conversation going on. Yeah, my candid impulse in this is that can the president honestly come out and apologize to the nation what is going on for the death of her citizens. If you can remember during the George Floyd incident in the United States of America, if Donald Trump did not apologize, then I believe the police officers did apologize. 
Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, please, can someone correct me? The present president of the United States bowed to the door of yeah. George Floyd, apologized. So I believe Americans have apologized. So I see no reason why Mr. President cannot apologize to yeah. Nigerians for yeah. the condition they are now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alex, thank you very kindly. We got your first time. Um, Cyril, mm -hmm. nobody says Nigeria must behave like America, but it behooves the president of any country holding the uh, constitution to defend the citizenry from any, any form of threat to apologize. You, you expect the present president who mm -hmm. had speaks to us to apologize. And does it matter if he does not apologize, if he does something? There are many things I won't expect from him. Now, the other thing is that um, you said... Sorry, what was the second question? Okay. Do you expect a president that does not hardly broadcast to the no, nation? Of course, I won't expect it. Uh -huh. There was a second question you, you raised. That was uh, the right answer. Must we behave like Americans? Well, we, we, we don't have to behave like Americans, but we can learn what is good. After all... Mm -hmm that we have a relative president to, to what is good is relative after all that we have a president today alone is something we copied from the united states as a matter of fact section one title of the, i think of the nine and constitution actually makes a very very profound statement it says that there shall be for the federation a president there shall be for the, that is you know that's 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 the line se, se, oh. section 130 there shall be for the federation a the president. president it it is weighty it carries a lot of assumptions. Voted into office there by shall, Nigeria. Yes, there shall be for the federation, not for its constituency, mm. for the federation. What is a federation? SS2 government taught us, uh, you know, some, some of the. Mm. A federation, we, we enjoy cultural diversity, uh, geographical contiguity, uh, heterogeneity, and things like that, you know. So, can we have a president who embodies the genuine and sincere diversity? And heterogeneity that is the Nigerian spirit. See, this in jokes. You see, it may be the aspirations uh, of its it, people. It may, it may amount to comparing Odon with Tap. I'm a journalist, okay? He's the president. I have three Yoruba names which I adopted by myself. My parents didn't give me that. I have one Igbo name. No, I have one Igbo name. No, 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 no. No, 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 but we should know. Just, just what I'm calling. <laughs> I, I, I adopted it closely. The, the, this no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I adopted a thief name. <laughs> I adopted the Hausa name. All of this is nothing. I, in fact, I even adopted one from Zangon Katab. That is, um, what tribe is that again? Sorry, I forgot. That, that, that's, that's somewhere in yeah, Kaduna. The, yeah, the, 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 the Southern Kaduna party. Yeah, yeah. It is because I love my country. I, there is something about me that just forced me to drop my country. Those, those names. I, I, I won't drop them for anything in this okay. world. I love my country. And I wish that I would have a leader who, um, who well, not that, um, m m Mr. President ha ha has, has his own style, but I wish that even if he had it, he should show, you know, should demonstrate that embodiment of the diversity and the, and the, and the you know, and, 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 and the multifaceted aspect of the Nigerian state. And so all that, that everybody can feel it's not belonging in this president. Yeah. When Obangida came to Patakot in sometime 1990 or 1991, Obangida came to Patakot, he was given two things. One, a, by who? Um, the people. One, a, a local tailor, you know, one tailor, Rupabo, made a made a cloth for him. Then they gave him Oku, Omolabo, one of River State, which is the big word of River State. You, you, know, you, you, know, you, know, you know that sort of thing? Mm. Sometimes we may try to use our apologies for, for, going, for taking titles in many places. But even if, if, even if it were for the, for, the, for, the, for the sheer symbolism of identifying with the many peoples of this country, I think they serve the purpose to have us languish in this night. Is to, there something to, we, to, we, cannot, you know, we cannot conjecture for a second? Jibril has joined us from Kaduna. Jibril, uh, assalamu alaikum. Lost the contact to him. Lost the contact, uh, contact to Jibril. Please call back. Yeah, as we said, yes, you see, so saying. To, to, to have us feel this deep sense of disconnection, mm. this, particularly the youth, some, you know, some, somebody approached me and, and raised certain trending issues and, said, and, and began to ask me and say, why is Levi? And I said, well, you see, we have a generation that is detached from history. Mm -hmm. I have been, I, 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 I think I'm a bit lucky because I, I, I love history. So none of what's happening today is new to me. Mm. Cast me back to what happened, what happened in 1953, the Kano riots, after Antonio Nauru called for uh, self-government by, you know, th three years from that time. Mm -hmm. There was a riot. 
so, we've sorry, had so, so, let, 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 I, I must not keep Ada, not because she's a woman, but the issue <laughs> is important. Ada is reaching us from Just, Plateau State. Welcome, Ada. I'm from Just. I'm so glad. Yeah, how are you doing? To did? get you. Yeah. Honestly, this generation of the very first with rich people. No mind them, Ada, no mind them. Go on. I'm enjoying the program. Mm. And that's surreal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Let me tell you something. It's close to Zodima. <laughs> Let me tell you something, it is Yes. The president, Mr. President, I for one don't need any apology from Mr. President. Yeah. So I don't think all this idea of apology is not the issue. And anybody who says that Mr. President doesn't know what is happening, Mr. President knows what is happening. The problem is that he doesn't have the political will to solve this issue. Okay. And let me tell you something. That uh, um, 2014 National Conference, the mistake they made, the greatest mistake this uh, administration made was not to continue with the recommendation. Mm. That is the cause of the matter. Mm. And sociologists will look at the root forces, not only using the uh, arms, I know what you call it. You know that religious prisoners, religious prisoners, you know that as much as it's contemplative, you know that in a sociological viewpoint, it means people have lost. I mean, uh, in the justice system. So yeah. why should people be behind three days? Yeah. Okay, so what is the meaning if you don't know? Ada, 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 thank you. Like, like a woman, um, when a woman joins the fray, you want to listen to her? Absolutely. Yeah. Not just because she's, she's, she's a woman, it's, it's about what she's bringing to the table in terms of. She, she sounds to me like a mother. A grandmother, if you like, and, and like so I said, she knows what, what's yeah, happening. What she, her contributions, if, yeah. you, if you listen to her very carefully. And I agree with her to a, to a great extent. For me, whether the president comes out to tell Nigerians that he's sorry about development, for me, it's not an issue. It's about the concrete steps mm. taken by his administration oh, yeah. okay, to deal with the current issues. Yeah. And Nigerians are asking. What what are these what are these concrete steps being taken? Being taken. Yeah. Do you understand? What steps? Ca can have we been feel taken? it? What, yeah. What's the impact? If it's not, it's, it's not, it's not about money. Mm. It's not just about money. It's about ideas. It's about commitment. Mm. All right. It's about leadership right. mm. that is mm. transformative. Mm. Nigerians, a greater percentage of Nigerians can't feel that impact. And when Siri spoke, he talked about certain agreements that were reached by even the ruling party. All right. After all right. the confab, mm -hmm. which are not being executed. Okay. So you ask yourself, what is the sincerity Sam, we'll about it, it all? We'll keep it there. 20 minutes to the hour. Uh, that sounds not something like, <laughs> like TV, you know. <laughs> 20 minutes to go, but we must go to our next topic. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, I beg you, you are the senior prefect of the country. Mm -hmm. um, look at yourself as being a senior prefect of a secondary school, if anything goes bad, the senior prefect is to blame. OK, to our next story. The Senate Committee on Army summoned the Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, plus the Army Chief, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, to appear before it on Thursday. The Director General of Budget Office, Ben Akabweze, was also invited. They were to explain how 199 billion naira meant to fight terrorism was spent. Again, President Muhammadu Buhari's call to the U.S. for help was queried as opposed to the ECOWAS and the African Union. Who is saying what at this level? Does this appear clear to you? So this, there's, there's so much that is confusing about, yeah. about our country. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Is anyone excited mm. about Nigerian lawmakers conducting you know, um, their primary responsibility of oversight? It's a given. It's a job they ought to do. But I, 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 I worry that not much seems to come out of this oversight you know, um, functions, because they come sometimes too late in the day to create, mm. to create any impact, mm -hmm. all right? So you ask yourself, you want to drag the finance minister. What do you want to find out from her? How much has been budgeted, released. how much has been released, and, and the rest of it. But for me, the critical question is, 
those who were saddled with responsibility and who had access to funds prior to the coming of the new service chiefs, who ordinarily should give account or render account for the years that they managed these resources, mm. are not being asked any questions. So ask yourself, are we really honest about ourselves? Yeah. And okay. a hundred, so, one ninety-nine billion is a million yeah, in so, hundred and ninety-nine places. So you're, you're asking Atahiru to come and explain when the service chiefs who left and became ambassadors we are against cleared. against the run of play, as it were. Mm. We are clear. And not be asked any questions. And the if, committee was not if, there. If the lawmakers are serious, whether. At the, at the level of the, the mm. Senate yeah. or, or, okay. the, or, okay. the, or, House of or the House of Reps, the did, first did thing, the reps first or reps? Reps. Reps. Okay, okay. okay. sorry. Reps. Forgive me if I sound that different. Yeah, yeah. So for me, the key issue is we should take the primary step. And that primary step is to ask those who manage these resources prior to this time to give account. Mm. Why were they giving the clean bill of health and allowed to leave our shores? And then you are dragging somebody who is basically conducting her, delivering on her immediate, uh, immediate it, task. It's, Fine, it, I'm not saying that she shouldn't yeah. appear. No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not suggesting that by any stretch of the imagination. But we're saying, can we make this wholesome? If we want to conduct an inquest, if we want to conduct a probe, let's go the whole walk and ask questions. Mm -hmm. Why is the president... Who, who, who collected this money? How was it spent? It blah, 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 blah. blah. If you ask me, I know who collected the money. The former service chiefs. You, you don't know how it was spent? Or we you don't, do we don't, that's why we're asking questions. Okay. And we have our representatives who should do that on our behalf. Mm -hmm. All right? And we're saying we're not satisfied because they are not dragging those who should account for this money before, before Nigerians. Okay. Uh, Cyril, you know, he, he was talking about this, the National Assembly, which for me is the bulwark, and for that matter, the heartbeat of any democracy. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, I think Tuesday or Wednesday, the National Assembly, one of, one of, one of the senators wept openly, smart Adeyemi, who was uh, at a time president of the NUJ. Mm -hmm. uh, they are asking for the National Assembly to be shut down. Me, me I don't understand what the what nature the, the shutdown is going to take. Shut, shut down what? Is it the one pertaining to insecurity or shut? Insecurity. Well, Ike Kweremadu, the immediate past deputy president of the Senate, was another senator who said, no, 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 we can't deceive our Senate Well, anymore. you know, you know, you know. <laughs> you are telling me I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you, you want to make it a laughing matter? The Nigerian, the, 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 the Nigerian, the Nigerian, see, <laughs> you know, the fact, let's not take it for granted that if we had a National Assembly, we have that will be true no not i mean a type of it that okay. will be true <laughs> to its purpose all of these problems you're seeing today can be fixed yeah in I fact I, I i i have come so i i have now come to believe very firmly that that's the national yes. assembly you know it, plenary it, it, you know it, that's it, the senate you know, president it's, it's a building with people that's okay. what i can say okay but the thing is that no no you have a member of the you have a senator there He's not disputing that. He's not disputing that. Do you mean in Lagos or from <laughs> oh, come on. So please, my, 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 my take is that they can, uh, you know, because all yeah. of these things we're talking about, if you want to destructure, if you want to make, create some certain fundamental changes to the national order, it has to come by law. So, so I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. Joshua has joined us from Germany. Joshua, I greet you. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, citizen George. Nice, yes. to, nice to talk to you and nice to join General Ethander. Oh, come on, you are welcome. Yeah, see, the, I want to contribute. My contribution is this. The problem, the foundation, when the foundation is not being laid where there will be a lot of problems. The problem we have in Nigeria is the Constitution. They don't talk about it. That is the problem. If we don't deal with the Constitution, there is nothing you do. We talk about the, the, the Senate, they are not doing their work well, the oversight work. If the Constitution is standard, believe me, everything will be okay. Yeah. 
Okay, jo Joshua, Thank you. Uh, Joshua, are you still there before you run away? In Germany, is that how the, the National Assembly works? They are doing their job. They, according to me, when you have a seat, when you have a, a seat jacker, you will drive the speed of seat jacker. If you have 200 kilometers in your car, that is what you drive. If you have 90, that is what you drive. Mm. Okay. That is the problem. The, jo Joshua, not so here. No, see, yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's important to raise the question of Germany. I hope we realize that Germany is one of the model federalisms in the world. Okay. The German Bundestag and the Chancellor and the President of, the, of, of Parliament. Germany provides, apart from the US and perhaps India and Canada and mm. Australia and so on, Germany is, you remember that even above my world was listed Germany as mm. one of the people that are both a people and a country, unlike, okay, yeah, unlike Nigeria yeah. that is... Whose that, democracy we should copy? Yes, we should copy, unlike Nigeria that he described then as a mere geographical expression. Mm. Sadly, mm -hmm. since between 1940, is it 46 or 47 and now? Of 49 and now we realize that what he said in that in that in that year is st still holds very true. Please, now, please, I was, please, but, but I was going to no, come, no, come no, to the no, you know, you know, we talk glowingly, so glowingly about our forefathers, mm -hmm. our founding fathers. Mm -hmm. But were they not? Can you not blame them for part of what is happening? No, so I can give you examples of all of of, of the things that happened at the national. You you, you recall that uh, Mr. Chief Awolo actually boycotted, I think, the conference of about the 1950, and, and 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 then he gave his reasons. He provided arguments for why. Nigeria could not become a viable state at the Lancaster conferences. Mm. If, I, if, if I'm not, if, if I'm not mixing okay. the facts. Okay. It was Aziki that said, we can make this thing work. And because, I mean, this is a long time ago. Mm. And, and we became. But he always had his doubts. No doubt about it. No, and in fact, he actually said that if we are going to be, it should be on X, Y, Z terms. So this is yeah. so, so this, this, this a very plain fact. My contention now is that what we call a national assembly today can fix these problems. As a matter of fact, sometimes I wish that we could go back to a parliamentary system of government yeah. where you will have the prime minister in parliament. He will have, he, he will have to defend everything that happens every day. Yeah. Today, the president is, you, 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 if you don't see the president for the next one month, there's no way to hold him to account. To say, where's the president? He must address the nation. You can't do that. But you see in, uh, in, 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 in London, where Prime Minister Boris Johnson is, is he's seated there. He sits there. He, is called, he will make his case, it will be debated. Yeah, yeah. But because we lack that tradition and culture of hearing each other out and debating issues, some people feel like they, 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 they own you. Mm. Some people actually feel that like they own the country. Some, you know, some people like, just, just, act, 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 act. Somebody said, said in, um, at the floor of the Senate House of Reps in 2009 or seven, and said that mm. the people of the National Center, who are they? The South South. Go and wipe them. Go, go and wipe them all out. Today is a senator from Kebi State. But 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 I'm told, and you you are told too. Sam is also told that what in the happen inside the chambers can go, but you can't no, hold them. You, you can't hold them to account. I hope you know that. Yes, it is important. It, it, it may pass as a joke or something. A joke. Yes. That a said that a seven senator said on the floor of the Senate. So that what, what, go to the Niger Delta and wipe so, them so, all out. Siri, what happened that other sta that statement? No. And the question is, sorry, without mm -hmm. prejudice to what you are saying, okay. do we need a a, 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 a senator and, and the House of Reps? Do we need it? Do we need it for the sake of argument? This is my response, citizen. The system that we run is very expensive, very cumbersome, and does, in my view, does not sit well with our cultural settings. settings. Okay? Otherwise, the answer to the question is? My answer to it is this country can do without the current system of government that we run, which has an upper house and a lower house with people earning so much and giving so little. Sam, by the same, by the same token, yes. do you see anything wrong with the Republican Constitution of 1963 that gave what we all are clamoring for? That's what the same Constitution, the, West, the Old West, used to give us the first TV station, um, uh, stadium, the, and on water. No, so, no, Those, okay. let, let, let me just, uh, let me just at, 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 attempt a response. 
You talked about the 1963 Republican Convention. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so fair, the first thing we must admit here is that it's a constitution will always be a document, you know, that is work in progress. You you can you you can never at any point claim that what you have is so very perfect, and that is why you have rooms for amendment mm -hmm. in over time. Mm -hmm. So, if over time we have discovered that there were certain shortcomings with 63, with 89 or 99 or whatever it is, mm. what have our lawmakers done, either through their own initiative or through bills coming from the executive or elsewhere from the public, mm. done to create something that is workable, taking into consideration all the sentiments that have come to the table. So for me, there is a general understanding mm -hmm. that there are clear shortcomings mm -hmm. with the 19... Is it, is it 1999 yeah, cons yeah. 19, mm -hmm. 19 mm -hmm. constitution? Yeah. Those who know have argued. Uh, uh, and there's, there's this overwhelming sentiment. There's, there's an urgent need to do some very honest work on that constitution, either to drop it all right. and do something fresh. Uh, um, Sam, we're not going to do them this night. Okay. <laughs> um, Cyril, please, mm. Barrister Femi Falano, a human rightist, is, is, is not agreeing with the National Assembly when it says, no, no, oh, okay, EU, when it says, you know, reach out to the outside world to help us. Mm. How do you re react no, to that? No, you see, the thing is that, uh, I mean, taking that segment in context, the outside world, you remember our experience with the, with the previous mercenaries that came? How we went to court to expose certain things? How they classified channels for information? You know, the fact that we've even come to this point to be discussing this, this sort of things on national television is a shame for me. Oh, yeah. embarrassing. Oh, yeah. It's extremely embarrassing. We had people... We, should, we, should, we, should we had there. people who came in and could not draw the line between national interest and just, you know, name shaming, just calling people names and when in the end you, you couldn't even convict anybody really, you know, substantially yeah. for the, so, so, so the money you said. As far as you are, you are concerned, you know, the call by the National Assembly, uh, no, the, the invitation, if, if, the invitation if, 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 if you want foreign help. By the invitation by the uh, um, Army Committee of mm -hmm. the National Assembly is neither here nor there. No, the fact is, you see, the president said the other day that um, we needed that. I think he told Africom to bring the headquarters to from from mm. Stuttgart in Germany to to, to somewhere in Africa. Africa to yeah. Africa. Okay. <laughs> I, I I hear you, you know the producer is the yoga of this <laughs> show. We must we must go. Cyril Abakwood, uh, thank you for sitting in for uh, Babajide Kolade Otitoju. Kolade is uh, unavoidably absent. He'll be here. He should be here next next weekend. Um, thank you for coming. My pleasure, Sidney. You know, no, no vexe, we ruffled you a little. The Igbo name I took, <laughs> translated. The what? The, the, the Igbo name I took. Okay. I told you I had an Igbo name. Okay. When it means um, what is written cannot be changed, but I wouldn't say it in Okay, English. okay. <laughs> My Igbo is uh, muffled. <laughs> you know, uh, Sam Ibe, Ibe, Ibe Mere, uh, the state of uh, Iberiberism. No, it no, no, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exception. Okay, okay. No, no, it's all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> the Heartland. The heartland of the country. Okay. Forget what is happening. I'm from the land of promise. Yes. <laughs> so my my I'm state Akwaibom holds the promise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We must go. But that will just about do it for journalist hangout for this Friday. But then we have another show on Sunday between 1.30 to 2.30. That's two solid hours at the uh, at the uh, uh, hangout. Okay then. On behalf of all the guys who have made it possible, please have a rewarding May Day tomorrow. But remember, we are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Citizen Jones. Bye-bye for now.